Hey everybody, it's New Jersey Nick, and it's Horror Retro Gaming Thursday. This week I am playing Night Lore, another one of the selections included in Rare Replay, the compilation of old Rare games. Oh man, this one is the third game in the Saber Man series. You can watch me play Saber Wolf and also Underworld, both videos I did before. Basically, in this one, Saber Man, the adventurer, ends up in a haunted castle and he's been turned into a werewolf and he sporadically changes into a werewolf throughout the game. You have to go around and make a potion and convince a wizard to let you out of the castle. It is extremely tough and I'm not going to beat it, but I'm going to try my damnedest. Here we go. Very cool music for... A game from 1984, huh? Okay, now you'll notice the day and night cycle being broadcast at the bottom of the screen down there. Basically, that is telling me um, how soon until I become a werewolf. Because <laughs> at night I turn into a werewolf. What I'm looking for. Oh, not that, not that. Get out of here. Oh, I turned into a werewolf. Okay. When I'm the werewolf, sometimes will of the wisp things like we just saw there will come out to kill me. It's very unpleasant. I want to pick that up. Now, the reason... Oh, come on. I didn't touch that. Dude, I only have four lives. Ugh. See, this isometric view thing... Dude, I'm turning back human again. Okay. So there's not much different whether I'm human or werewolf, other than some things will seek out to kill me. Yo, so I picked up a cup. Reason being, you need to get ingredients to put into a potion, but you have to find the screen with the wizard at it to make the potion. This dude will kill me. Everything will kill me. Everything will kill me in this game. So weirdly difficult, especially, whoa. Oh, no. Slow down. Especially if I line myself up inaccurately. Oh, God. I think I am screwed now, right? Nope. Oh, my God. Playing this game is, like, harrowing. Because you're, like, trying not to touch things, but you can't even tell if you're in line with them or not. Like, there. How did I touch that? I don't really know. Basically, I have to time this to jump over them when they're right in the middle of me, below my feet. I'm turning human again over there. You only have 40 days. On top of the fact that you have lives, you have a time limit. It's madness, baby. Okay, we made it, we made it. I really should have played with the map open on, like, uh, my phone or something. I, If you're going to play this game, I severely, severely recommend that you play with the map open, either on a tablet or a laptop or something. Oh, geez, what's happening? What's ha- Whoa! 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 I made it. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, so I have a crystal ball and a cup, but will I ever find my way out of here? Oh, this doesn't look difficult at all. Oh, geez. Oh, great. So I have to jump up onto those things and then immediately jump underneath this thing without touching that bouncing ball or the spikes underneath. What was wrong with British people that they wanted to torture children with games like this? I only have one life left, so this might be the end of the video already. Damn you, haunted castle and wizard who turned me into a werewolf. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not going over there. I have no lives left. I gotta find another path. Now, in Rare Replay, there is a rewind feature where you can actually rewind and, like, oh, Jesus. How am I gonna do this? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. There is a rewind feature where you could try and rewind once you mess up horribly. But I kind of look at that as cheating, so I'm totally not gonna use the rewind button here today. Oh, what happened? You're kidding. I'm, a, I'm down here to stay. I'm going to have to try and jump over that other thing. Now, 
Rare, a British company, right? They made incredibly difficult games. That's what I've learned from Rare Replay. All of these games are just so tough. Why? Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Here we go, guys. Cheer me on. Mmm. Why? Ugh. I completed 8% of the game, which means I went to 8% of the rooms. Charms collected, zero. Rating, poor. This game is tough. You can see how to play it. You have to go back over it and over it and over it and over it again. Man, if I was a kid, I probably would have, you know, drawn out the map and stuff myself, but... Ooh, I gotta back away. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Share this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. I do horror retro gaming every Thursday. And uh, just leave me a comment below if you have any recommendations for old school horror games you'd like me to try out as part of this series. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. See you around. Bye.